In India, 30 40 kilometers from the Nepalese border, and my man Sunny here used to live in Woolongabba in Brisbane, and where I lived about seven years ago. So it's a tiny world. Say good day to Australia, man. <laughs> yeah, so he's been back here for a few years now, got his own business, hoping to go back to Australia soon. So I wish him all the best of luck and hope to see him there one day. Hey, man. side of the um, the border crossing so yeah I don't know those coppers seem pretty cool with it so we'll just see what happens though eh?
Cool, so we've made it to the Indian checking post. We're going to do all our paperwork here. It should be pretty simple here. Alright, so we just did the exit out of India. Super easy. I'd have to say probably the most chilled out uh, border crossing I've ever experienced. Maybe five, ten minutes and we're on our way to Nepal. Hopefully it's as chilled out there as it was here anyway. Alright, so we've arrived at the Nepali side immigration office, nearly drove straight past it. Um, I'm going to leave the camera out here for this one because what we're trying to do is not strictly legal. So if we need to um, partake in any activities that are maybe not entirely above board, probably best not to have them on camera and have these guys feel the pressure. Right, so it turns out that was just immigration, which was as easy and as chill as the Indian side. Now we head to the customs office and see how we go with the auto. They're just talking to this um, lovely lady in there. She's taken bikes into Nepal before and never had a problem, so I think it's looking pretty good. All right, so we've arrived at the customs office and so here we go. And that's it, done. Super easy. Uh, went in there, met a lovely lady named Sarita. She thought it was hilarious we were traveling in auto. Um, we sat down, had a chat. A colleague did all the paperwork, went and changed a bit of money, paid the import, custom fee, whatever, and was done. Maybe like 20 minutes or something, so yeah. It's headed to Nepal, man. This is awesome. You'll grab some food. I've already met some new friends. My man here, what's your name? One Mist. One Mist. No, it's, it's awesome. It's been really nice so far. A lot quieter than India. Not so many horns so far, so it's good. I'm gonna go grab a feed. Nice to meet you, my man. I'm gonna grab some samosas and a, and a drink. As has got them sorted out over here, and we'll refuel and be on our way. Hey, buddy. Ah. Hey man, how you doing? Hello sir, out here. Thanks heaps man. Thank you sir, it's really fun. nice to meet you. Thank you my friend. Nice to meet you man, yeah. Take care, see ya! Bye bye! <laughs> As we've been driving along, as we've been driving along all afternoon, we've been seeing people walking in this direction. Uh, we didn't know what for, still don't know what for, but there seems to be a hell of a gathering here, so there must be something cool going on. I don't know. Hey man, how you going? Looks like there might be something going on over here. Woo! Yeah. Maybe there's a troll gonna come out or something, I don't know, but this is wild. Hello! Hi. How are you? Hi. Very good. Woo. Hey man. Hectic, the 
there are people everywhere. Up on the rooftops up, up there. Uh, can you see? Right. On the rooftops, on the riverbank, just everywhere. <laughs> Hello man, but what a way to come. Hey dude! How you going? Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump out! Go for a little walk. I think we're gonna be stuck here for a while by the looks of this. This is just chaos. Absolute chaos. But it's amazing. Hey man, how you doing? How are you? Fine. That's good. Hello! Hi. Everyone say, hello! 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 Alright, yeah, so we're here in uh, Tikapur. Uh, my my battery died when we were going through that parade, but wow, it was just crazy. You could feel the uh, the energy and the excitement and everything in the uh, everything in the air it was crazy. Um, and now, yeah, we've stopped here. We were trying to find an ATM because we had no money. Sorry. I like you do. Yeah, so we're trying to find an ATM. Find an ATM, uh, yeah, so we're trying to find an ATM, which we finally did. Uh, while we were uh, trying to do that, we met this British dude, and he owns a lodge in a national park, uh, about an hour away, so we're going to go there for the night. Oh, but look, look. Woo, back on, hey. <laughs> yeah, I met this British guy. Owns a lodge in a national park, so we're going there for the tonight. Uh, and as you can see, since we pulled up, it's been absolutely crazy. Hey! Yeah, so we'll finish up here. The guy's just um, sorting out his bill or something. I think I said I finally got some money on the third ATM, so we should be right for a couple of days. And yeah! Can you drive? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. What is his name? Alex. Alright. Alex. Alex. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. See you guys. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Uh, Ooh, it's like a fox. Alright, so we're on our way to um our English mate's lodge and we've run out of fuel. There is not a drop in there, so we're just gonna Refuel, keep on going. All right, so we made it. We're at the Wild Track Adventure Lodge. Um, yeah, awesome drive here. We saw that first fox, we saw another fox. We didn't really see any, see any other animals, but we came to this um, place where there was like uh, buses and a few vans and that parked along the side of the road and we're like what's going on here so we sort of went down the side followed John and you mate down the side um, about halfway down this local guy goes it's impossible it's impossible like, well, what's going on here so we kept going down and John had stopped and we pulled up next to him and he's like right um, there's two male elephants ahead and apparently they can be a bit dangerous so that's why all uh, the locals had stopped and John was like, well, we're going to go for it. So just, you know, follow me, do what I do. If we get any trouble, do exactly as I say. And so, yeah, we went for it and we were like, had to go through this river crossing and there were potholes and puddles and rocks. And I was like pushing yoga flame, pushing that little rickshaw as fast as she go to keep up with John. And yeah, we got through all right. Didn't see the elephants. It was all good. Um, yeah, and it's been a nice drive where... 
way out in the jungle somewhere now. So yeah, this is this is awesome. We're gonna unwind a bit. Uh, perfect way to end that day and what what can you say about a day like that um, yeah you know it's a little bit sad leaving India had an amazing time there visited some amazing places met so many wonderful beautiful people had such uh, incredible experiences um, yeah but then to come to Nepal and have a have a first day like that like from that first moment really, like the, the Nepalese customs lady who was just lovely, sat down, had a chat with her, everything was so easy there. And we stopped for those snacks on the side of the road and met that awesome little dude and sort of run on that restaurant and you know, translating for all those people, that was amazing. Going through that surprise festival, parade, I don't know what it was, still don't know what it was. I've been asking around but no one seems to know but I was just crazy, hectic, they got me so pumped up and then, you know, wandering around that town trying to find an ATM and we just happened to bump into Johnny who owns this, you know, adventure park out in the jungle and now, now here we are. So yeah, what an absolutely amazing day. But um, we've got another good one ahead of us tomorrow, so we're gonna get a good night's sleep and um, yeah, recharge for that. Catch you soon. Yeah.